And it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I need something familiar. These are little swipe cards. This is a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. I am going to use a shovel to put some black paint down the center of my canvas starting from the middle so that if I want to tip it, oh I see that large thing that needs to go away. Goodbye large thing. I'm pretty much counting on the fact that I don't I won't use all of that. I'm gonna do the same exact thing hopefully with the gold. Let it drain up a little bit at the end. Put some more in. Maybe a little bit more here. I'm intending on swiping it so it doesn't matter. Might be a little thinner at this end than the other. I can let that shovel run right down. I can let it do it on both sides actually. As long as there's paint coming out of it. Let it do that. Alright, so now I've used two shovels and I've got paint in both of them. But I think that I'm, what I'm going to do is take the black paint from this one, get rid of its residuals right there. And probably use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to just smooth that into place as far up as it wants to go. Because this is how I'm going to use up that paint. Now I could have just squeeze bottled it on there, but I definitely not in the mood to waste anything because who knows when we're going to get back to the stores at this point. I'll just finish up that side. I'm kind of counting on the uh, paint to come back down over. So colors that I love That is another 24 karat gold, but I've added a little bit of orange to it. I want that thing out of there. And I just put my tweezers down right there. Paint flake. So, what I really love is this color shifting purple. I think it's purple flash. Of folk art and I've got a turquoise that probably also has a flash in its name and my theory right at the moment is because I need a win something that I think is easy I'm just going to put colors down that I love Keep an eye out for anything else that might be for an object. If I want something else, now is the time to figure it out. And I kind of want some white metallic. But rather than that, I think I'm going to give myself some of my folk art multi-surface acrylic and that's below the turquoise and I expect some of these to stay so where's my white do I really want to do that yes it's not coming out though so give me a moment 
hopefully this is fairly simple and nothing blows into my work while we're getting ready to do this. I still got my eye on my swipe cards over there. Looks like I'm a little uneven. I've got a dish to scrape my paint off into. Looks like it's got dried paint in it already. That goes in the bucket. So there's my little dish. Those from, are from Michael's. And you can get there. Seems like you can still get there from here now. Alright, so what I need is enamel. And I've got blue enamel if I want it, or pink enamel if I want it, but what I really want is black enamel. And if it comes out, it'll be perfect. Whoa, yeah, okay. I can't remember if I've done this this exact way before, but I like the idea of there being plenty of black in the center. And I'm going to pull this over to the edge of my tile. Move my tile up a little bit. And there's a, there's a burr on my card, and that burr made a beautiful mark, so... I'm not going to complain. I am going to, it is a rather larger than usual canvas. So I'm just going to use my card burr and all. And I'm going to try and split my difference by going to each end. Scraping off my paint. wipe a finger right through that end. I kind of wonder if maybe I should have left a pattern on the end. I could find out by doing it, but I don't think I want to know at this point. Wipe that paint off. Try not to hit anything on my way around again. wipe my finger right down the end and blend those colors in a little bit. Now it's time to figure out what I might want to do with a smaller card. And I think the smaller card is going to go right down the middle. Pull that over again. I'm going to use the opposite side of it so it's clean. Press that into place. Wipe off my pretty colors. I'm looking forward to that next one so I can fix that. I'm using ever such a slight pressure on the card. Not down to canvas. On. I'm getting some pretty cells. That's nice. Alright, so now I want to find a much thinner card, and I do have one. I have a point on it. So I'm just going to give myself... permission. To not overindulge. And lift that right up. Move that paint down so it covers. And I might use a basting brush in here. There's every chance of it right now. Let's 
see if I can. That enamel is doing its job very nicely most places with the gold. so good. I honestly do think that I like the um, using the shovel to add the colors in a more random way. I want to do something weird. <laughs> That's, I'm not going to do that. I think I am going to do a single strip though. Kind of got to make up your mind quickly, especially where I am. It's not cool. I don't mind if there's a little leftover paint on there. Well, I say that now. It sort of just picks some up. If I'm going to use the basting brush, now's the time to decide that. <laughs> kind of wish I had decided that in advance. I've got a nice small one. So maybe right down between them, maybe a bigger one in between them. One, two, three. That's stuck. That needs to be cleaned. Let's use one with four. I like that. I like it a lot. Still think I should have left maybe left a space at the end. But maybe if I can get some drag marks down there I'll feel better about that. I think that's what's gonna happen. I don't think I mind these at all. So much so, right after I get that floatsome, come on, tweezers, hello, come on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go through and go back and forth because I like the mixing of the colors. I just got to make sure to move over the basing brush so it doesn't go through the same lines over and over again. Try and catch anything that's anomalous, like a place that's missing a line. There, I really like that. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'm really glad you guys joined me. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Depending on which of my two channels you're on, if you're on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Patzel, there are 1,310 other videos all organized into playlists. You can find them on Created Playlists after you open all playlists. And uh, look on the end screens for a monthly exhibition video, and on that exhibition video you will find included the prizes for anybody who's a contributor to the studio. And what else do I want to do there? I've got a little bit of gold here, but not any there. And I kind of want a little bit right there. 
and I'm willing to risk it. And I'm going to assume that I can get away with that. We're taking a little bit of that enamel from the center and bringing it over there. I remember that was the first mark. A little drag. All right, so I've lost my crib sheet, and you guys, if you're interested in visiting Facebook, uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More shares with you my FineArtAmericaPixels.com posts via a Shop Now button. You don't have to buy anything, but you might want to go check it out. It's pretty cool. I want to cover my paint because I want to use it. I don't want those lids in my painting. <laughs> ah, and I had a nice cover for this. It's been a long day, i got to say. But I love you guys very much. and. Um, on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batzel, there are 86,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for being here. And I'm just going to let my skewer drag through the, the few places that don't match everything else. Because I can! The name of my first book on the Amazon link, under Show More, right next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. I do sell my artwork and my email address is under both channels videos. My paint pouring recipe is under there also along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. If you have questions, please just ask them. I'll answer them in the comments. Know that if you're on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel, you should go visit Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzel Art because there are no commercials over there and uh, if you subscribe you help me out. But um, I love you guys and I'm going to let you go because we're basically done and my crib sheet blew away a long time ago in the bre in the breezy day we had but um check the community board on check the community board and the facebook group for tomorrow's video why do i like those so much i just like dragging stuff through paint i guess i'd like them to be somewhat straight I like that they go back and forth, and they're, they're sort of random on both sides, which is really kind of cool. I think that's it. I'm good. Good to go. I'll see you guys in on. Bye for now. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Out.